Okay, here's how I would tackle this problem. I'd first plot the points, rough sketch or on Desmos if you want. And right away I can see that maybe the function that does this will be what we want the equation to, to represent. Okay, and if you do that, you can see that the midline, the points along this horizontal green dashed line, is at y equals negative 1. That means we will use, if we were using a sine function, the midline, which normally is y equals 0, would be moved down 1 place. So I think we need a little minus 1 at the end. And now, what's the period? Well, how long does it take to repeat? It looks like we go from 0 to 16, and then the graph starts repeating itself. Okay, so that means that 2 pi over b has to equal 16. Now, uh, one way to solve that for b is to take the reciprocal of both sides. Whoops right b over 2 pi equals 1 16th so b equals 2 pi over 16 which is pi over 8 and we'll see what we mean by b in just a second and finally the amplitude is the distance from the midline to the low and the high points. So from negative 1 up to 5 is 6, and from negative 1 down to negative 7 is 6. So the amplitude <coughs> is 6, except we're reflecting this. The normal sine function, you know, starts like this. So we need a negative in front. So I think the equation probably looks like this. 6 is the amplitude, but we want to reflect over the midline. Sine of b is pi over 8. That's the coefficient of the x. There is no horizontal shift or phase shift. And finally, we have to move the midline down one. Okay, I think that's your equation right there. Let's check it out. There's the equation, or the function definition, and there's the graph definitely going through the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 given points. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.